Hey everyone, it's really nice to see you on our channel. Welcome back. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video. As you understood from the headline, we are going to talk about uh, Democracy Poll plugin and review its main features. If you are ready, let's not waste our time and let's start. To fully comprehend the process of the creation of the poll, we are going to create one right now. So, in the settings submenu where you see democracy poll, just click on that one and we can see the basic dashboard of the plugin over here from the backend of WordPress, basically our admins dashboard. And over here we can see the button add new poll and you need to click on that one. Afterward, here we can see questions, answers, etc. Uh, in the question box, I will just type test and in the answers 1, 2, 3, just answer 1, 2, 3 accordingly. Mm -hmm. After we type the answers here, we can see multiple options for customization available. For example, allow users to add answers. So basically, this option allows users to add any answers that are not already mentioned in the poll. Also, there is an option to allow to choose multiple answers. And down below in the checkbox, if you click on the checkbox, users can choose more than one answer. And down below, we can type specific amount of answers. For example, two answers. Let's go with the two. We also have the checkbox allow to change mind. For example, if user click on the wrong answer, but in reality they think the other answer is more correct they will be able to change their answer and it won't affect the final results and there are also options such as allow only register users to vote uh, which allows only users who are registered on your website to vote and others who are not they cannot participate in the poll allow to watch the results of the poll basically this option allows your users to see the overall results of the poll, uh, how many people uh, voted for what option, for example. And do not forget at the end to um, specify when your poll is going to end. Here you can mention a specific date. After all the customization, do not forget to save your changes. So what is happening now? After you click on add poll, we can see that uh, here we have a short code which we need to copy and paste on a specific post. Let's click on add a new post and name it democracy poll. Mm -hmm. Now we need to paste the short code inside that post. And as you can see, now we are able to see the poll and every button, everything will be working as we did in the settings, as we customized and saved changes in the settings. We can choose more than one answer, we can add answer, we can vote. And this is all very simple to create and do. But now, as far as we understood how to create a poll, let's take a look at the general settings of this plugin and play around a bit. For example, here we can control the users in terms of honesty and disable them from voting once again, just by clicking using another browser. With the other option, we can mention the deadline for the votes, so that after a specific time period, users can vote again. There are also global options for the polls. We can customize this specifically for each poll or just change settings over here and have each poll created be the same. In the options, you can click connect GS file and if this one is turned off, then poll after voting will be saved without refreshing. Meanwhile, if it is turned on, then data will be saved refreshed. So, if we don't click on this and go back to our poll, let's go back. Mm -hmm. We can see that there is we can see the result, but if we turn this option on, let's go back to the settings and turn this on. And if we go back, 
we can see that we cannot see the results of the previous voting so it is refreshed it is new let's go again back to the main dashboard and review the next tab basically our next tab is theme setting connected to the style in the preview we can see how the poll will look like in the front end in the same setting uh, we can change the block style, the maximum size, for example, like length, height, etc. There are also progress line options, which is about the end results of the poll. In the checkbox radio, we can customize the answer styles, and down below we can see button colors. So let's do something practical. For example, we can change a few things over here. Let's do that. Then click on save. Now let's take a look at the overall appearance again from the front end. And as you can see, now it shows the changed version of the poll. Another tab we will review in this video is called logs. Here we can see the results of the previous poll. First column is called IP. Uh, it is uh, allowing you to track which user participated in the poll, what did they mention and when. Let's again vote on this poll for example and let's choose fourth option I guess. And now we are going back to the backend of our WordPress. And now we can see here that users IP they are choosing our case option 4. So this was basically everything about democracy poll. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video and it was informative. If you liked it, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also check out the description down below where you can find the link to Democracy Poll plugin, besides the link to our blog where you can find many interesting articles about SEO, WordPress and plugin reviews. See you in the next video. Bye!